Hi everyone and welcome to Club 3 episode 16 of Rolling in the Isles, an FM22 British Isles Journeyman series with me, the United City FM. Welcome along. So, as a content creator, you try and create stuff that means that all the big things are going to happen live on an episode. Sometimes that doesn't quite work out. We won the league. <laughs> we did. We made it. Colwyn Bay, top of the, uh, the league. Can't be caught. One more game to play. It happened in the last round of fixtures just because Ruthen and Llan Dudno got a loss and a draw each. And I wasn't expecting them to. I thought they would keep the pressure on all the way through to the final game. They didn't quite manage it. And Colwyn Bay have won the league. Let's go and have a celebration game and see if we can get another result at the end of the season. Hey. So as I said in the intro, ultimately my intention is always to try and get all of the big important moments live on an episode and sometimes that doesn't work out. So apologies for that, but we did win the league in the last game because the other two failed in their uh, opportunities to keep the pressure up. If we go to our schedule, you will see that our running, we were pretty good. We lost to Gresford, uh, and then after that, we won against Mould Alexandra, and then we uh, won against Gilesfield uh, as well. Today, we play Flint Town. If we go back to the homepage and look at the league briefly there, we will find Flint Town sitting in seventh position. So, decent way for us to end the, the, um, the league this season. But there's absolutely no doubting how we've managed to achieve this feat this year. And as long as we can keep him for next year, hopefully Thomas Johnson will keep us up in the top flight of Welsh football. He's been magnificent for us this season. He's played 32 games from the start, one from a substitute position, got 33 goals uh, in and around those fixtures as well. So pretty much a goal every time he go, uh, goes on to the football pitch for us. Can he do that today? Can he finish off with a flourish and get maybe a couple? Uh, but he has been absolutely spectacular for us for 99% of this season. A couple of games here and there he went missing when we really needed him. But other than that, he's been absolutely brilliant. And he's been very well supported by the likes of Brad Jackson down on the right-hand side and a couple of others pulling their weight as well, which is absolutely fantastic. If we go into the league itself, uh, let's go further into the profile of the league, you'll see that Thomas Johnson is the top goal scorer. We've got all three of the top average rating players in the competition in Jordan Evans, Nick Grogan and Thomas Johnson again. Uh, Brad Jackson tops the assists in Player of the Match Awards. Johnson is in third on seven. Uh, it looks like Niall Flint will win that one on eight, unless, of course, Thomas Johnson can get that award today. Clean sheets, Andy uh, Coughlin, our goalkeeper, is in second spot. Actually, joint top spot, isn't he, on 11 with the Llan Dudno keeper. And uh, on yellow cards, we've got nobody in that top three. We've been pretty spectacular. We were supposed to be 91 to 1 odds on favourites we were to win this division. And eventually, in the last couple of matches... We finally managed to do it. So today we get to play without any pressure. We're going to put as close to our first team out as we possibly can and see if we can finish with a flourish. So let's do this. So the positive news for this particular match is that we have a full strength squad to choose from. Everybody's fit and able to play. So I can actually pick the, t uh, the side that I really want to. And it shows, doesn't it? Uh, anybody that's uh, just joined me, you'll see that I number my first team 1 to 11 as much as I can. And I then match up the numbers through the rest of the squad. So, for example, my defensive midfielder, who's number four, his rotating option uh, wears number 14. Uh, 2 and 12 are at right fullback, 3 and 13 at left fullback, etc. So you can see here... I've got 1 to 11 on the football pitch, which means all the way through this season, this has basically been my number one starting lineup. And nobody's really been able to get into it 
other than in rotating and substitute appearances, etc. So that bodes well for this particular side moving forward, as long as we can potentially take out some of the dead wood in and around the squad and boost uh, our numbers through the squad to make it slightly, uh, slightly more deep. For next season because we're going to need it next season against higher level opposition we might struggle unless we can improve significantly but that is a conversation for another day for today we play flint town we're at home we get to celebrate the league title at this particular point and we're going to do that with a team of Coughlin in goal, George at right back, Bailey at left back, Grogan and Davies in central defence, Scott and Woodford in central midfield, Jackson on the right, Evans on the left and Jones and Johnson up top with a bench of Lewis, Gammond, Williams, Jones, Bullock, Lake and Spruce. So let's get into the final game of the season and let's see what happens. So, very positive team talk, outstretched arms, go out there, relax, play your natural game, the result will come, and whether it does or it doesn't, it doesn't really matter on this particular occasion, because we've already won the title, which is magnificent with a game to spare. Uh, so, for anybody just joining us, my intention with this series, in the British Isles Journeyman series, is to start off with no qualifications and find a job as an unemployed manager, which I did, and we've moved from Northern Ireland through to Wales. Um, and now the opportunity to move forward, the ultimate gay, um, end point of this series is to get to one of the top sort of four or five clubs in England and get to a Champions League final. And that Champions League final, whether we win it or we lose it, will be the end point of the series, in uh, uh, all of the series, whatever the result of that final is. So that's the journey that we're heading on. So... Having just won the league with Colwyn Bay, we've been here for a couple of seasons. I will be looking at the job market and seeing if there's a significant jump forward that we can make in terms of managerial positions. Because at the moment, my reputation will be fairly high for the level of manager that I'm at because we've just won the title here in the second tier of Wales. Uh, my concern at these sorts of moments is always that we go up a division as Johnson gets on the end of another uh, brilliant through ball by Bailey this time and puts it away. And that's another goal for him. 34 in 34 this season, remember. But yeah, my, my intention is to always be aware of the fact that if we go up with a team like Colwyn Bay, we might struggle next year and that could diminish my reputation possibly. So is it wise to jump at the point where you've just won promotion rather than stay and take a team up and then struggle and then try and find another job with a, a slightly damaged reputation? Always the question I ask myself. So I will be paying attention to the job market. I don't have any intentions to leave necessarily unless something is there that's worth it really. So we'll keep an eye on that one. Uh, but I've got a summer transfer window potentially to prepare for and we will see whether we can improve this side. Obviously, for me, uh, other than today, where Bailey has obviously put a, a good free kick uh, through for Johnson to score, my fullbacks have struggled this year, both of them, right and left fullback. So we'll be looking to change that one up. There's a change in midfield I think we can potentially improve on in terms of Woodford has done okay, but has averaged about 6.8, something like that this season, when most people around him have been better than that. So there's a couple of spots through the side that I feel like we can improve this squad but whether we can improve it enough to have a proper go next season and stay up who knows that again is a conversation for another day and as I say we'll just see what the job market holds as well so far not too bad quite a chilled out kind of game really it's not going to have the passion and the drive behind it because we've already won the league so we'll go with outstretched arms uh, I'm pleased we've created lows the scoreline reflects that. And we are 1-0 up already, so that's okay. And we'll just go into the second half and have a good time, basically. Play our natural way and keep the pressure up. We've had 20 shots at goal to their three. Only seven on target. Again, that's a bit of an issue for us. If we were up at the sort of 11 or 12 out of 20 on target, I'd be very, very happy with that. But it doesn't often happen for, for this particular setup just at the moment. Uh, but they're on the attack. They do get it past the goalkeeper, but fortunately for us, the woodworks uh, helps us out. And then we get it cleared and Evans picks up the ball, drives down the left-hand side. We were a little bit fortunate in that defensive 
area of the pitch. But now we've got the ball again. Can we work an opportunity down the other end ourselves? Jones drops in and gets involved in the play. Drops it right the way back to the defensive unit. There is Woodford into Johnson. He's going to turn and run and they can't quite get the ball back again. But the long shot comes in and Jones follows up the long shot and kind of makes a complete pig's ear of it, to be honest. He had a decent opportunity. Goalkeeper was all out of sorts because he just saved a previous shot. And he had a fairly simple tap in and couldn't quite manage to do it. And that's another area where maybe the next season, the partner for Johnson might be a way in which we can improve this side. But uh, we shall have to wait and see. But for this particular match, it's actually going pretty well. 69 minutes, we'll pause the game. We've got 29 shots at goal. Still only eight on target, which is a little bit disappointing for a 2.36 XG rating, the expected goal. So they are expecting us to get that second goal now, really, with all the possession and the chances that we've had. So now we're going to see if we can uh, just change up a little bit of our play by um, just making a couple of substitutions and getting some fresh legs in. So Alfie Williams will come in for Woodford in that central midfield role. Uh, we're going to take out Luke Jones and put Spruce in up front alongside Thomas Johnson. So that will be fine. And I think we'll take out one of the wingers. I think Brad Jackson has been amazing for us this season. He's done some really fantastic work. But the deputy, Danny Jones, has played equally as well at times. So we're going to give him the last few minutes of this last match because I feel like he's deserved a, a, an appearance on today's game. He's done very well on the right side of midfield when asked uh, to cover that role. And we've 72 minutes on the clock. We get another chance. We've got Evans down the left-hand side, drops it back to Bailey in defence, and we go through the centre of midfield again. There's Williams getting involved. I expected more from him since he came into the club in the mid-season transfer window, but ultimately he has been a bit disappointing. Put a good through ball there for Spruce on that occasion. Couldn't quite convert the charts, but the chance. But yeah, both uh, the two Williams that we brought in who are not related, one defender, one midfielder, didn't really hit the ground running, unfortunately, since they came into the club mid-season. So I was a bit disappointed by that. We'll have to see whether they can get any game time next season and, and start to sort of bed themselves in. As we finalise the last game of the season, it drifts to a kind of slightly damp conclusion, really. We got a 1-0 win quite comfortably. But you can see that most of our team played pretty well again. You know, defensively, we were solid. Johnson and this time Evans down the left-hand side were the stars of our show. And that's pretty uh, fantastic for both of those. They've done brilliantly this season. And we finished with a win. It's going to absolutely put the nail in the coffin for everybody else. We can then go outstretched arms. Very nice victory. Well done. And we can go and check out... What that means for the for the league title. Uh, did Ruffin and Han Dudno manage to win their last games or not? Well, there was a big gap, ultimately. That's very interesting. For a long time, Ruffin and Han Dudno really put the pressure on us. And in that last little section of a few games towards the end of the season, they faltered a lot. And they both ended up on 58 points and we ended up eight points clear of them on 66 points. And that was not how it was looking a little while ago. There was a, a one particular game I had, uh, having won it, I got out of the game to realise that all three of us were all on 51 points each at the same time. So you can see how we've moved on from that point and they've stumbled a little bit. And that ultimately enabled us to win the championship, which is fantastic. It's amazing. The JD Kumru North, there was only ever one promotion spot from it. And we have taken that at our second attempt. If you remember the first time round, we lost out to Kevin Druids and ultimately finished in second position. But this time, the odds were so stacked against us. Uh, for anybody just joining, if we go back into here and go into the season preview, you will see we were 91 to 1 odds on favourites to win this title. The next were Gressford uh, at 5 to uh, five to 2. So you can see a huge, huge difference in that one. It took us a while to get there, but eventually we did. And that's going to basically do it for this season. There's not much else to wrap up, really. There's nothing to talk about for next episode yet because either we're going to find a new job in the summer, possibly, 
or we're going to restructure this squad for a new season in a higher division through the transfer market. And I will fill you in on all of that next episode, uh, whatever that looks like. So it's going to be a fun one. Hope you'll come back and join me for it. For now, though, this was a really good season for us. Can we keep the momentum? Can I personally keep the momentum uh, as the manager of this team, whether I'm at the uh, Colwyn Bay or not? Can we keep moving forward in our series trying to get to the top of British football and get to that Champions League final. Come back next episode and join me for that one. We'll see how we go. Till then, thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and join my United City community. The more the merrier. Click that like button on this particular episode. That'll help me get seen by more people. Go check out all of the links in the description below to things like my Patreon if you'd like to support me there. Twitter, my Discord is in there as well. Come and join the wider United City community. Until next time though, take care of yourselves. I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.